Shalom Israel. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Kahalayim Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Double honest our elders slash apostles of GMS who rule well. Brakadam, now you are coming that's out there is pushing his truth and sincerity and the strength of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. This is GMS Stop and Listen. I'm Preacher Cal. Uh, today's lesson, uh, I'm going to read uh, Revelations 13. And 16 okay because it's real important that we uh, as men of the Lord let you know what's going on because the time of uh, the evil days are upon us man uh, the the time for Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is near for Yahweh Shai to come set the kingdom up and we we, we we push this word that the elect might hear and that the elect might wake up and come back to this truth so we can go ahead and get out of here and establish this kingdom of heaven. Um, two thirds will be set up for the destruction, like the scriptures say. Uh, it's second Ezra's, second Ezra's in the apocrypha. Uh, the first verse it says. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people. With my people is Israel, the nation of Israel, the Negroes, the Latinos, and the Native Americans. These are the Lord's people. And it says, Speak unto the, thy ears of my people the words of prophecy which I put in thy mouth, said the Lord. So he says, Speak in thy ears of my people the words of prophecy. So when you see men on the Lord on men of the Lord out on the highways and byways that's what you're gonna get you're gonna get you're gonna get the history of who you are and you're gonna get uh, the prophecies and what's going to happen and you're gonna get condemnation if your condemnation or what's gonna happen if you don't come back to the Lord or if you are the wicked you're gonna you're gonna have you're gonna get condemned and you're gonna be told your future so we speak prophecy, prophecy, pro meaning before, society meaning to say. So we go out and tell you what's going to happen prior to it happening, according to the, the Bible, you know. And, and what is prophecy? Prophecies are the words in, in the book. I'm going to read that to you. This is John 6. And sixty so I can, six and sixty-three. It says Hold on, slack so here. Read this one first. Revelation nineteen and ten. And I fell at the feet to worship him. This is John falling at the feet of an angel, right? He says, and, and he said unto me, See thou that I do it not. I am a fellow servant. So the angel is telling him, I'm a fellow servant, so don't be falling, don't be worshiping me. I'm just a servant like you. He says, And of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Worship the Most High, for the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. So the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy, right? The testimony of these words. So when you read John 6 and 63, it says, It is the spirit that quickened it. The flesh profit nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. So the spirit of prophecy is the words. These words of this book of the Bible, right? So that's that's what the men of the Lord, that's what, you know, the Lord has showed us mercy to bestow this word on us and show us the knowledge, understanding, the wisdom through uh, our elders getting it and teaching, teaching us. So we bring out these prophecies, man. That's what it's all about, you know? So going to our uh, Revelation 13 
and 16 because you know Esau the earth is given to the hands of the wicked Esau is ruling right this is Esau's kingdom the Negroes and Latinos and Native Americans we are in captivity under this so called white man right now and the Lord is getting ready to redeem his people so he has put the spirit on these devils who are so called white men the power that he have over us right now he's going to try to keep that power right and part of him keeping that power is putting people giving people that microchip that's part of a new world order system that being a, a microchip you know so which we're going to get into which has been practiced long before it's it's just from the beginning it's the way it's been practiced it's just one layer upon one layer it's, it it's basically uh, all these years they've been for, from the first system that they had they always try to make it better make it bulletproof as they say you know so I'm going to read to you scripture and then we're going to go through and through the spirit try to show you some photos of, and, and you know little notes and stuff on, on this chip man because it's very serious you know it's very very serious man the chip is this is Revelations 13 and um, 16 it says and he calls all both small and great rich and poor free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand in their and in or in their foreheads and that no man might buy or sell save he have the mark or the number of the beast or the number of his name here is wisdom let him that have understanding count the number of the beast for it is the number of a man and his number is six hundred three score and six okay gonna go back and read that again it says so like it. verse 16 it says and he calls both all small and great okay now the whole the whole thing is right here man we have to seek the Lord man you have to seek the Lord you have to inquire man you have to search out right if you don't seek the Lord it's it's definitely death for you you have to seek him out you know it don't matter who you are that's how when you seek out the Lord, when you read, get in these scriptures and read, that's how you get the knowledge, man. And the understanding and the wisdom to know what's going on. Because a lot of people don't seek the Lord. So therefore, when it's time come to take this chip, they haven't searched out the scriptures to know the penalties of taking that chip. Or if they heard the men of the Lord on the highways and byways, the most high didn't put he put that uh, covering over your eyes. He put you to sleep that you don't understand what they're saying. You don't perceive what you see because we have signs out there or you, you're not understanding what you hear. But if you don't have that understanding, man, it's going to be deaf to you, you know. Get this scripture. Uh, second. Chronicles 15. Second Chronicles 15 and uh, 13 it says that whosoever would not seek the Lord Yahweh of Israel shall be put to death whether small or great whether man or woman so you have to seek out the Lord man you have to inquire you have to search and part of this this these prophecies man you have to if you don't seek out the Lord and know that this chip will get you killed then you're gonna die anyway it says Who, whoever don't seek the Lord 
So seeking them is getting into these scriptures, man, and in these prophecies, man. You know? Because, you know, the Lord, the Lord, if you seek out the Lord, man, the Lord uh, bless you for that. And that's, I'll get that and read that scripture for you. Uh, let's see. This is Psalms 115. One fifteen and thirteen, he will bless them that fear Yahweh, both small and great. So the beginning of understanding and the wisdom and knowledge is to fear the Most High, man. When you read in Proverbs first chapter, that's the beginning of the fear the Most High. He'll bless you if you fear him. So if you're not seeking the Lord, obviously you don't fear the Lord. So it's gonna be death unto you, you know. It says. Verse Revelation 16 and 13. And it says, He calls both all small and great, right? Rich and poor, right? Because rich and poor, because the Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, He don't regard, uh, He don't, he, he don't regard the rich no more than the poor, you know. Because they all belong to him. Everybody is basically, you know, the same with the Lord. And to back that back that up, this is this is Psalms 49. Psalms 49. Forty-nine and one and two. Hear this ye all ye people, I mean Israel, give ear all ye inhabitants of the world. Both low and high, rich and poor together. See, both both low and high, rich and poor together, right? Because the Lord, that's how that's how he look. He looks at everybody, man. He don't look. He don't regard it. You know. He don't regard it the rich more. He don't. You know, just cause you you have money, he don't look at you as being more special than than um, a poor man. You know. So it says he calls us all both small and great, rich or poor, free and bond. Right? Because it says um it's rich free and bond. That like you have people who are out here in America who actually think they're free, but then you have people who it says bond who are actually locked up. Because them people who are locked up in these systems they're gonna be issued that chip too, man. Which they already be getting issued a chip in those prison systems. So it's gonna be them and also you people just out here in the world walking around. You know? Because you know, it don't matter if you got money or not, whatever, you're gonna be accountable for the things you do, man. So no matter whether you got money or you don't. So you're gonna have poor people taking this chip and you're gonna have so-called rich people, they're going to take the chip. Because the situation that Esau's going to put everybody in, you're going to be forced to take it. And that's going to be whether you believe in the Lord, in, in these prophecies, in this, in this word, and your faith in Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai in that day. And only the, elect, the elect's faith is going to be strong enough to not take that chip. You know, that's, that's, what, it, that's what it is. That's what it's going to be.